Thank you. First of all, I'd like to welcome all of you here. Uh, I think that I want you to know that we appreciate you taking the opportunity to come to the University of Alabama, to come to football camp, to do something to try to improve yourself as an athlete and a football player. That's something a lot of other people would not choose to do. So, and the purpose of this camp is help you to improve as a player. We, you are going to do a lot of the things the same way that our players that play for us do those things. And we're going to have the same expectation from a character and attitude standpoint in terms of how you compete and what you do. So I want you guys to know something. We're going to expect you to give effort, have enough mental toughness to persevere and sustain what we're asking you to do, and be responsible enough to execute and do it the way we're asking you to do it. Now, none of those three things take any ability. You guys understand what I'm saying? It doesn't take any ability to give effort. It just, it's, a, it's a mindset. It's an attitude. I'm going to finish the drill. I'm going to go as hard as I can go. I'm going to give effort. I'm going to do the best I can at what I'm trying to do from an effort standpoint. Mental toughness, guys. It's hot outside. Nobody needs to say it again. It's going to be difficult. But when you do things that are difficult, that's what helps you get better. You have a better standard, a better capacity to work and invest your time in things so that you can improve and get better. So you can't think about the negative things. You've got to think about the positive things of what you're trying to accomplish so that you can go out there and finish things and not get the poor me's about how you feel or how hot it is or something that's affecting you that's outside of you. Don't give up the control of what you decide and what you want to do. And then, guys, pay attention. Some of you guys are not paying attention now. Everybody in this room, everybody in this room should be looking at me right now. Everybody should be looking at me. You shouldn't be messing with your shoes. You should be looking at me. And when a coach is talking to you, he's teaching you something. You should be looking at him. Then you will know what you are supposed to do and what's expected of you so that you can go execute it and do it and be responsible for your own self-determination. That's accountability. Somebody tells you to do something, somebody sets a standard of how you're going to do it, you understand it, it's defined, and then you show that you have the ability and the accountability to do it that way. I don't care if it's your English teacher, your mother, or one of your coaches. It's all the same. You know, playing sports is like a metaphor of life. Playing golf is like a metaphor of life. It doesn't make any difference what the sport is. You have an opportunity to focus and make a play or make a shot. It could be a good shot or a bad shot, but the challenge is, is to make the next shot all the time, to play the next play all the time. Now I'm going to ask you some questions. We're going to try to help you be more successful. But I want to know what, what is being successful. Successful people have consistency in performance. Everybody here is capable, but are you capable of doing it on a consistent basis? That means you do it over and over and over and over, and you do it the right way every time. See, to me, guys, there's two things that you have to have to be successful. First of all, you cannot be successful if you don't know what you want to do. If you don't know what you want to accomplish and it's not important to you, there's no way you're going to be successful at it because you're not committed to it. So you have to have some passion for it. You've got to want to do it. It's got to be important to you. You've got to make a commitment to it, which means you're not going to just start out and as soon as it gets difficult, quit. You're going to make a commitment to a certain standard of what you want to try to accomplish, and you're going to work and do your best that you can to do that. Look, guys, you're going to do one of two things with your time. You can invest your time or you can spend it. When you invest your time, you make a goal and a decision of something that you want to accomplish and something that you want to do, whether it's make good grades in school, be a good athlete, be a good person, go down and, and do some community service and help somebody who's in need, whatever it is that you choose to do, you're investing your time in that. When you spend your time, you play Xbox. That's spending time. It accomplishes nothing. 
And I know all of you would say, oh man, I need, I need to have my relaxation time. You know what I say to that? And excuse me, all the mamas that are here, that's bullshit. You don't need to do that. You don't need to do that. You need to figure out what you want to do, what you want to... Uh, best you can in school. Invest your time in that. Study. Don't play Xbox. Don't play Nintendo. Blowing people up on that thing doesn't do you any good. Doesn't help you accomplish anything. Communicate with somebody else. Help somebody else. Have compassion for other people. There's lots of things that you can invest your time in. But if you don't learn how to work, you're only going to get out of something what you put in it. You reap what you sow. You have to work. Life is difficult. Things that are worth accomplishing will be difficult. So you have to make a commitment to it. You have to invest your time. And it takes a lot of hard work. They talk about all the championships far away from the center of the ring and the lights and the stage and the TV and all that. They were run out of the coach. He was jogging out. Now, the preparation and the work that he the fight. He was rewarded. So you're going to reap what you sow, guys, just like this camp. You're going to get exactly out of this camp what you put into it. And that's why I started with three intangible things of effort, mental toughness to sustain, and be responsible for your own self-determination in terms of understanding what's expected of you and being able to execute it. That's what you have to do on your team to play any position that you want to play. Now look guys, all these things go back down to one thing. Perseverance. You have to stick with things and use every experience that you have as an opportunity to learn. Every one of you guys are going to get corrected in this camp for something that you did or didn't do, right? And get positive in in reinforcement, or maybe not quite so right, and get corrected. And will you take that as criticism, or will you take that as somebody trying to help me and teach me to be better? Now look, guys, I coached in the NFL for eight years. First thing I told the players, I said, look, I'm going to coach you every play. But everything that I say to you is never a criticism. I am never criticizing you. I'm going to tell you when you did it right, and I'm going to correct you when you did it wrong, so I'm trying to teach you. And all these coaches here are going to try to teach you to do it better. So nobody needs to ever have a negative attitude about anybody correcting you. Listen and learn and try to do it better. That's why you're here. That's why we're here. And the, guys, the greatest opportunity to learn is when you make a mistake. When you make a mistake. That, that's Every year when I talk to you guys, I tell this story, and if you've been here before, you've heard it. The old Michael Jordan commercial, about 10 years ago, you've probably never seen it. He's all dressed up in a limo, going to a game. And the commentator comes on and says, showing him, I've taken 26 game-winning shots and missed. I've played in 392 NBA games and lost. And I've shot 2,572 shots and missed. And then he walks in the locker room to go play the game and he says, but because I fail is why I succeed. Look, guys, if you can't overcome adversity and you can't learn from the negative things that happen to you and continue to work towards your goals, you will never be able to accomplish anything of significance because that's what makes it significant. It's difficult. So it's going to be difficult to accomplish. You can have no great victories in your life unless you can overcome adversity. Because the adversity is what makes it the challenge. The last thing I'm going to talk to you about today, guys, is pride in performance. Look, I don't really care what you guys choose to do. I took pictures with almost all you guys today. All right? And everything that you do, you're selling yourself. And I ask you guys, each one of you, to come up to me and introduce yourself and say your name and say where you're from. And you know, everybody did it in a little different way. But everybody made an impression on me by how they did it. 
Because every minute of every day, you're selling something. You're either selling positive or you're selling negative. And when you put your head down and I can't even hear what your name is and where you're from, you're not selling positive. You're not selling confident. You're selling shy. What are you, what are you afraid of me for? You don't need to be afraid of me. You don't need to be intimidated of me. I'm just like you. I was just like you when I was your age. I pumped gas every day when I was 11 years old. Worked at my dad's service station. You don't need to be intimidated by me. You look me right in the eye, you say your name, and let's have a conversation. And then what am I going to think of you? I'm going to think you're confident. I'm going to think you're mature. I'm going to think you've got a plan for what you want to do because you're showing strength and character by the way you present yourself. And that's what everybody should do. I ask our players all the time. One of them just asked me when I walked up, what are you selling today, coach? I don't want to know if you broke up with your girlfriend. I don't want to know if you failed a math test. Because when you come out on the field to practice, you know what I want to see? I want to see somebody's positive energy that's affecting somebody else to do it better. Not somebody that's hangdogging that's going to make it worse for everybody else because of the negative energy they bring. And look, guys, if you're going to be an athlete and you're going to be somebody who competes in the world, you have to be a relentless competitor. Now, do you, does everybody here understand what relentless is? I'm going to put it in. I'm going to break it down for you real easy. How, how many people watch Friday the 13th? Everybody in here seen that? Is that still something that people watch? Is that the one Freddy Krueger's on? Or is there a nightmare on Elm Street? I don't even know. But what makes Freddy Krueger such a such a horrible, horrible character. What makes him such, such, such what, what makes him scare you to death? You can't get rid of the guy. He never goes away. You can't kill him. You think he's dead and his hand comes through the wall and chokes you to death again. That's cause the guy's relentless. That's what relentless is. That's what Freddy Krueger is. Now you guys get in the picture? So if you're a relentless competitor, what do you have the ability to do? Always coming back. Always coming back. Always play the next play. No matter what happened on the last play, you can play the next play. Like it has a history and a life of its own, and you can compete just as hard with just as much effort, just as much toughness, and just as much discipline to execute what you're supposed to do, how you're supposed to do it, the way it's supposed to get done, every play in the game. That's being a relentless competitor. Now, the guy you're playing against, he's going to think you're crazy. And he's going to say, I keep whipping this guy, but he keeps coming back. And then by the fourth quarter, you're going to be wearing him out. That's what you have to be a relentless competitor in anything that you choose to do if you're going to be any good. And you've got to do it to a standard that's important to you. And I mentioned one word here, guys, that's important to your character. Do you know what your character is? You guys know what your character is? It's an accumulation of your thoughts, your habits, and your priorities on a day-to-day -day basis. That, that's what makes the choices that you make. It's accumulation of your thoughts, habits, and priorities. And, and then the choices you make make you who you are. Make you a good guy, bad guy, hardworking, lazy. That's what it makes you. So if you've got the right thoughts, you've got the right habits, and you got the right priorities. And it probably starts with the priorities because that goes back to your commitments and the things that are important to you. And that's the way you can be successful. But you've got to have discipline to do any of these things. I just said what discipline is. Does anybody know? Doing what you're supposed to do, when you're supposed to do it, the way it's supposed to get done. And look, guys, if you, if you don't get anything out of this talk but that, you're going to suffer through one of the two things in life. You're going to suffer through the pain of discipline or the pain of disappointment. Because if you don't have discipline and you can't do what you're supposed to do, when you're supposed to do it, the way it's supposed to get done, as simple as that sounds, if you can't do that, you're always going to be disappointed. Because you're never ever going to reach your potential at anything that you do. You'll always be disappointed and think that you could have done it a little bit better. And you'll always fail in the end when you think you should have succeeded. Based on what word? Discipline. That's what we expect you to, 
learn and be able to do in this camp is have the discipline to sustain and be a relentless competitor and have pride in your performance of doing everything that you do in this camp the best that you can do it because that becomes a habit and habits are what helps you be successful. So we're going to try to help you improve in this camp. We're going to, I want you when you leave here in three days that you have a better chance to be successful when you go home at whatever it is you choose to do, not just being a football player. Because you got better character attitude to be able to go about what it takes to be successful, which means get consistency and performance in the things that are important to you. All right, guys, now what we're going to do now, all right, is you're going to split up into your groups by position. You're going to have a 15-minute meeting, and then we're going to start practice. But look, guys, I'm going to be out here every day, and I expect you to do it right. All right, and I don't care if you're 8 years old or 13 years old. There, there's no age limit on doing it right. Is there an age limit on doing it right? So we all going to do it right? All right, give me three. You guys ain't ready. Give me three. All right, that's better. Thanks.